Yeah, because I don't think he's going to have total nonsense. I think he's just going to have a hand that wants to call. Either Jack X or Hart. Oh my God. Hello. I have called four bet and flop top set. Hang on. Hang on. We have called four bet. We've been called and we have flop top set. These are the things you like to see. <clears throat> I guess we will check again. Come on, am I really shoving Ace King? <laughs> Just a cooler. <laughs> sometimes you got the top set, sometimes you got the third pair in a four bet pot. I mean, it goes in. It's probably bet up here. Defend in position, heads up. This is the way that heads up goes. I should have just bet the flop. I'm going to raise the turn, though. I think he'll delay T bet a lot of shit. And, like, even just getting, like, king highs or ace highs to fold is, is nice. Hmm. Okay. Not love, in love with uh, bluffing a fish. But I think this is a good hand and a good river to bluff. You actually get it through, which is nice. This guy just calls king fucking four twice. King four off, four twice. Jesus. This guy's an absolute fucking beluga. Nice river, dickhead. Uh, here, we check call flop. We lead the turn. And the river's weird. I might even check call. He called pretty quickly as well, so I don't think he's going to have... Okay, so I don't think he's going to have many 7x. So basically, he's wrapping a straight on nothing. And I think that we unblock enough nothings. I think we unblock we unblock all the 10 jack, all of the um, clubs. And so I think that calling this is actually better than shoving. Um, but shoving is definitely also a possibility. But I think call, I think we win enough of the time that call... Makes enough sense, right? Just with how quickly he called the turn, I don't think he's going to have that many boats. I think he um, thinks longer, so I think we lose to just 8x and then we beat everything else, so... I'm actually going to call here. What the fuck is that? Well, I was wrong. Um. Okay, I'm going to lower us, I'll go for the check. And low roll again, so we'll go for the check call. <clears throat> um, get stacked by aces. I mean, I guess I have to shove, but like, <laughs> does he even call where? The good news is we can have a very easy bluff of 7-4 suited. So we can be uh, balanced in this pretty easily. And ace-4, actually, we can jam. Um... Yeah, you can still have ace-10, though, here, for sure, and aces. No snaps good, though? Oh, yeah, obviously. Fucking jet. I knew, I, I actually knew I shouldn't have shoved. What a nice run out. I fucking knew I should have called, but I'm on stream and I'm 33. Doesn't call worse. Doesn't even snap ace-10. He's like, uh, uh, just let, let's make sure that I have the nuts. Just fold my station to small sizes. Remember the four bet with King Ten suited. And we do not get it through. Got a gutter though. I think uh, we can range about this one. Hmm. We'll probably range about turn, but I don't know what good it achieves. Do we want to like. Probably have to stack off, though, unfortunately. I mean, definitely have to stack off. We now be aces, which is amazing. Jax is very, very possible here, though. I think he bats those hands, so I think he's going to have queens pretty often. Hopefully he's got queens. I guess just shove now. 
Fading the snap is absolutely what we need to see. Yeah, I think he's going to fold a lot. I mean, I guess ace-queen, we just have to fucking sigh rifle it, but... I'll take it. It's still a decent pot. Uh, get three bets here. We will... Um... Yeah, against this guy, we're going to fall bet, I think. Been fall betting him a lot as well, so... He's super aggressive, this guy. Calls, King-10-4, 10 10 is possible. One combo with King-10 suited. And a few of aces. Um, but loads that can continue here. Um, okay, I guess Ace-4 suited is technically possible. I still think betting here. Wanting to get money in. Wanting to, uh, like, protect slash get value from some... Fuck, I missed that. Hang on, I've got I've got so many spots here. Okay. So fucking snide, King. So snide. Reasonable flop, only three about seven, eight suited. Yeah, I am going to bat turn. Just double flush draw. Super wet boards. Going to be doing this. And do I just shove 100% of rivers? Do I check some rivers? Don't think I ever check fold. Jam like 10s. I think 9s and stuff is supposed to jam now. And then shove in and hope we don't run into fives or sixes or fucking, I don't know, some other bullshit. We'll need to fade the snap as well, I think. Oh, nice. <laughs> we get the snap from tens. Fucking love to see it. Mona in. Picking up the queens. I'm going to flat. This guy's been squeezing a lot more now, so let's see if he wants to do something. He does not. Yeah, I'll check that. And we'll call the turn. And we will call River versus like three quarters or less. There is a world where he bats like Ace Jack for value. So if you ever beat value and beat bluffs, then you should call. Um, I still think I'm going to go for value. Does he check, like, king, like ace-king here? Yeah, this is kind of thin, but... Guess we can get check-rose sometimes as well. I don't think a hand like ace-jack is ever going to check-rose. Um, Queen-jack, I think they might just call. Oh, I've turned an absolute juicer down here. Absolute juicer. Look at this for a turn card. It's unfair how good this turn card is. Oh. You can literally have the nuts and we are happy with it. How insane is that? Or happy-ish with it. We are against the nuts, but we have the free roll. Do we want to run it twice in this scenario, if he asks? I'm never going to cash out. What? Uh, go on. Drill it. Uh, you don't get the, the option. Drill it. Club. Club, 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 and not a word. Club. Club. And spade. Ah, oh, well. We got a little bit of free EV in that one. A little bit of Slansky books. Flop top two here against an aggressive friend. Now, I really like on these type of boards against aggressive players. I mean, yeah, I kind of have to raise now. Just because we want to... If he folds something, we want to just try and stack uh, this guy while the board's still clear. Hmm, gonna get awkward. King. Uh, yeah, really big bets on turn. Or checks. Check could be fine. Against aggressive players, what do we think? Nah. 
And then I guess check call river. And not even be super thrilled if he absolutely hammers it. So knowing when he does have that like, ace king, but is he even always calling that hand? Uh, we're playing a four bet pot down here. Yeah, he checks back. Okay, 10 8 of clubs, fine. Uh, four bet pot down here. Um, we four bet blind on blinds. He calls. Maybe there is a world where he bluffs something like ace five suited or ace 10 or something like that. I don't think we can get that much value from worse. Does ace queen call on the river? Probably not. Unsure. Uh, either way, really nice couple of pots our way. Won that one and we're sat on 2k up here. Uh, really nice pot with the king turn. So I don't think he calls the 10 8 suited. Wonder if he ever turns it into a bluff that deep. Um, easiest call of my life, I think, with ace queen suited. Especially versus this size. Get to see a flop in position and flop top two pair. Let's see what happens. I'd like an ace on the turn, if I'm honest, dealer. Goes half part. I think just calling on this board in general. Queen on the turn, okay. So we do fill up. Really unsure what size to go. I'm four betting kings up here. It's going to go half part. This guy looks kind of snug, actually. Um, he calls with the ace queen. Kings, we take it down. Just shove in, I guess. Fucking bluffs are gonna have to be pocket tens with a club, and I guess we're shoving for the size of them. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Bluffs would be it. I mean, tens with a club is like the only fucking obvious bluff. King queen with actually king queen with a king of club. No, because that's trips. You stupid bastard. That's value. Fuck knows what a bluff would be. Maybe like 10 jack suited. 10 jack suited. We'd have to bluff. Um, reasonable flop with jack 9. Could raise here. Check turn. And probably cycle river versus bat. If he's got any random nonsense. Okay, sweet. We get to show down against Queen Fall offsuit. Well played, sir. Here we raise uh, a raise flop versus his donk just to get him to fold some nonsense if he has nonsense, and then we turn top pair. So against this guy, we're just gonna have to bat and then shove river on blanks slash rivers where we improve to a straight. So we should never have ace king. So we should never be beat. He can have some eight x here as well. All kinds of eight x. Ten eight, eight nine, queen eight, jack eight, ace eight, like all kinds of shit here. So. And he'll probably just call some two pairs as well. He snap folds, unfortunately. Either way, really nice run out or it's just like clean as shit and we just get to put lots of money in. Uh, really interesting one here. We check call the flop with ace nine. We turn two pair. And so we will be seeing a river. This guy, he's got the knit rag tag, but he's been pretty aggressive against us. Hopefully it's just a nice river. I don't like the deuce of spades, or obviously an ace or a nine would be pretty nice. It's a nasty one. Ace of diamonds are relevant. I might have to call the... This is a really, really nasty one here. Like, queen ten. Does he shove ten eight? Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to call this ace nine here. I guess all the king queens with a heart, all the queen tens with a heart. Better to have a heart here, but I don't think the nine of hearts would be relevant anyway, so. Yeah. So fucking grim, man. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm giving, I'm, you can keep with the net tag. Just fucking, obviously, such a fucking shit run out. I should start, I should start shoving turns to just deny equity, man. So fucking snide. Some of these runouts have been so unfair, man, today, honestly. Been so unfair. Should just fold when he's got the when he's got the net tag. Should just fucking fold. Should have a load of bluff. But the thing is, like, what does he do with King Queen with that? This this is what the the, the most frustrating thing is like 
Why do we never see King Queen with the King of Heart? Like, why do we never see that? Because there's a fucking lot more combos of King Queen with the Heart than there is King X of Heart. I gotta call it one because this guy's Ukrainian, so he's clearly a nit, and two because I'm happy with Mario coming along. And top top, you check so I can check Rizzle against Mario. Come on, Mario, put some money in. Thanks, Mario. I'm actually just gonna check call if it goes back fold. If he calls, I might have to raise because of the amount of turns that there are. Yeah, we'll just allow. Random shit, and then probably check, check jam turn maybe. Yep. Maybe I should have just called for the time he has absolute garbage. Redline it. You got the queens. I guess we just three bet regardless, right? Picking up the aces. Ooh, I've been three better aces as well. Here against Queen Jack, which is amazing. We are going to four bet aces and get called and see an amazing flop. Let's see if we just hold on the turn here. No Jack on the river, please. That'll be a pretty egregious beat, even though it's only for a small part. Um, yeah, really nice here. I think I'm just going to range back, so... I'm going to run things twice if he does shove. I'm hoping he just bangs in queens. Uh, okay. Very unlikely he's going to have folds, but I think just on the off chance he has some random punt we call. And that this is the only problem now. When it comes something like this. Might not get action now. Should have just jammed. I mean, am I ever bluffing like this? Probably not. No snap. Just in case he would have kings or ace three suited. Yeah, maybe I missed out on value from there. Still a big part, we take it. One for the red line as well. <laughs> a little bit of lamps, Jess. The thing is, I'm like I'm not a degenerate. Like I, I used to be a degenerate when I was younger, but I'm just not now. So just when I when I do play slots, I play I'm I'm a clever boy, you know. I'm not a fucking idiot. Flopping a set of fives, Shirachi's in the pot. Uh, we defended big blind here. It's caught off open bottom flat, I think. Um, yeah, we'll give our hand away in about 5.5 .5 big blind. Um, do we want to check raise here? I guess queen jack is possible. Um, I've got so many fucking spots. I'm just going to do this. Uh, yeah, and then just call, right? I don't think we shove for the rest on this board. Um, with this hand, I think we would shove eights. But yeah, I think we just call here. Hmm. Does he really call a three-bet shove there? I should have checked shoved. I wasn't really fucking thingy in, but... Um... I think that we don't shove fives there, uh, even though it feels kind of nitty to just call with a full hole. Which I'm sure uh, Shirachi's going to come in and tell us. Uh, thinking of a river. I want us to go check, and then I want him to bet massive. Because Dougie's going to have a lot of flushes. Can we shove, though? Is that too greedy? Raise, doggies. Okay. And then something like this. Can't go too big here. But the range that's going to call is likely to be flushes. So I think we'd go really quite big, actually. Something like this. Bluffs are going to have to be fucking egregious ones, like ace-10 with the ace of clubs and ace-8 with the ace of clubs if I decide to defend that, bro. Kind of have to have blockers to the nuts, I think. Maybe not with these sizes, but 
when I have the Ace of Clubs, I would just have to bluff. Yeah, I expect it to go fold, fold a lot, but what can you do? In about half pot with the tens. Uh, we're going to fall back jacks here, though, in at 1k. This is blind on blinds. Take it down with tens. We've been pretty aggressive against this guy as well. But did we fall back earlier? King 10 suited. Didn't show down there. Uh, sort of a side one. Uh, we just bat like a third and then jumped safe turns, I guess. Or I could check shove, actually. Check shove might work better if he does bat often. Yeah. SPR of two, we are getting this in, though, if we get the opportunity. Yeah. think this is going to be fine. We're not exactly fucking in love with this spot, though. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, at 1k, we fucking just dust it. So harsh, some of the fucking hands that we've had as well. Considering, like, the dynamic as well, like, Jack's blind on blind and an 8 high board. Like, I just get stacked to there. Like, there is nothing I can do. Right, Shirachi's three bets, so we call whatever two cards that we open with. Ooh. Oh, hello. Uh, I like to see what we do here if this ever check raises. I think check raising with a spade pretty often. The thing is, we just have showdown here, and I think this hand is something that we can check call flop and turn with. Uh, less so on a queen, but do we still get to call? Uh, yeah, versus half part, I guess, call. Do we ever have, like, leads? Can we have a lead on something? Yeah, I guess I have to. It's so hard to have, like, obvious bluffs here. So I think that, like, doing this makes some sense. And turning our hand into a bluff now, because there's not many obvious bluff candidates that aren't threes and fives. Thing is, if he has ace axe with, if he has ace king with the ace of spades, he'll probably just bluff shove, even though he shouldn't. I'm going to go for thin value down here as well. Um, which you guys can't see, so I guess I won't. Just, like, if he's got ace-king with a spade, it's so fucking retarded as well. I guess he just has it there because, like, I, I, I lead flushes and bluffs, and it's so hard for me to have obvious bluffs, so... I actually really like the line, and I think it's a spot where, in general, I'll get a lot of credit because, like, what can I actually have there? Um, it's so unintuitive to bluff because I'd ha I have to... Like, I've check-called the flop, I've check-called the turn, and then I've led the river. Like, what can I have that wants to check-call the flop and turn? just to bluff the river, right? Like, I can't really have Queen Axe that isn't Queen Axe of Spades. Um, and my Ace Axe is just, like, not going to bluff, is it? So, Oh, yeah. And I assume he just woke up with Ace Axe of Spades, to be honest. Let me know, Shirachi, if you made a shit bluff. So, here... We are playing... 200 deep. This is five. This is two five with two dollar ante. So we're gonna see what this is about because it looks like there's a load of whoppers. All right, let's not run jacks into kings blind on blind again. Oh fucking hell! So the guys just four bet shoved. You don't have the table up. Let me just get it up before I call. So he shouldn't have too many better hands. He has nines, which is stunning. We will run things twice. At, oh my god. Seven. Okay. Okay, boys. Jack. Nice. There we go. Nice. Absolutely lovely. Moan that one in. I think it's against the, the rules. Go over a check raise against that size. Atlantis. The monkey one. Is that the pirate one? Shit, I've not played that in a long time. I haven't played that in a long time. Right, check raise, turn. I mean, most turns are bad here, so I wonder if I ever want to, like, um... I think block could be okay here to try and get called by, like, ace-x of hearts, but I think it might actually just be too thin. So, I guess, just check and then be in a spot. What do we lose to? Ace-jack, ace-nine, ace-ten of hearts... 
What do we beat? Five, six of hearts. Psy call? I think that we don't beat a lot, but we also really don't lose to a lot, right? Ace Jack is the most obvious one. Ace is, I think, best turn. Does he ever have, like, 10-9 and bet? I think we just call and lose, but we lose to Ace Jack specifically, and that's about it. Or Aces. Yeah. Uh, here we're going on some sort of adventure. We're going to bat flop and turn and make a decision on River. He is going to be really fucking grim with this hand. No, his ace is fine. It's not bad. It's not. It's not bad. Uh, checking the turn. Maybe he's not that near. I've got jacks in against nines again. <laughs> How weird is that? Against the shorty. No nine. Nice. So here, expect. Um, to go at least heads up three way here. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll do some betting, but it's getting kind of sketchy on this board. I'll take that. That's a fucking two hundred dollar pot. Well. Gizza King. Hollywood Josh Haxton. First of all, that joke is terrible. Second of all, my name is Mark with a K. Yeah, this gets real awkward, this. I guess check call to, to realize equity. Which sucks, because I think his range is going to be really strong. Good news is here we turn two par versus another gun. What on earth is this? Wow, some spots. I guess we just call here. Queen or a nine would be lovely. Um, and we get counterfeited, obviously. King of spades here, maybe? That's actually just not the best of rivers. This is super weird. Shoving half pot, but what the fuck can I beat here? Oh my god, this is so fucking retarded, both of these spots, man. Maybe I should just shove the turn with the queen nine? Well, what the fuck's he doing this with for value? Specifically fours? Is he really shoving aces? I guess he could have ace three of hearts. What What are both of these fucking spots, man? Honestly. <sighs> right, let me just fucking figure it out one at a time. What have I got most time bank in this one? So queen nine, I don't think I can call. We need to see literally just five, six suited rifling it off. For 1k in this spot, which just seems very, very unnecessary. Can still have queens and nines and threes as well, even though there's only one combo each, so we're going to fold. Here is like shoving half pot, but what's really going to bluff here? 8 9 suited even gets there. King queen gets there. Not floating like sixes or anything like that, or nines. Really shouldn't have any of those hands. Maybe pocket nines. And then do we beat value? Absolutely not. We lose to just all kinds of fucking shit on this board. So even though I think that, like, if, it, like, if he even shows a bluff, I'd be like... Because I don't think 10x ever bluffs the turn. So, like, we're looking at something like, I guess, 8s and 9s with a club, which maybe shouldn't even be in there. And they're the only hands that we can beat. So I guess we fold, even though we're getting an insane price. What an absolutely retarded two hands. Right. Hello. <laughs> you know you know, this run out is just going to be shit, and we're going to be faced with a decision. So I decide to call, uh, I think in an anti-game, it's fine. And definitely against the fish, it's fine. And we flopped up to, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, flat ace jack here. And just going to raise and get it in against that. You had big blinds. Um, I might shove it. Yeah, shove for pot seems pretty good with this end. Yeah. 
Seems about right, doesn't it? Just this last fucking few hands. Yeah, yeah. Just just how about Jack 6 3? Hey, look at this. Look at look at this flop here. Uh, I was gonna say I thought we were just gonna absolutely break. Do I wanna bat? I'll check. We'll check. Oh, hello, that's the VOD plan. Um, do I wanna just flick it in? Yeah, because I don't think he's going to have total nonsense. I think he's just going to have a hand that wants to call. Either Jack X or Hart. Oh, my God. Right, this will be this will actually just be hilarious if I lose. It'll be really funny if I lose. It's actually... I, I think I'd, it's it's worth more in content than it is... Um, okay, well, he can't win. Wait, how can he not... Oh, yeah, nine gives me a boat, I was going to say. Well, um, if you reload, I guess I'm just carrying carrying on playing because... This guy is um, a beluga. Where was the hand? Let me, let me see if I can find it. It was pretty, pretty uh, soon into the stream. Let me see if I can find it on here. It's a nasty one, man. Uh, yeah, I'm on a high roll. I'm going to go for the rose. Get snap called. I'm going to bet the big on the turn because there's loads that can continue. Um, and then check back on every river where we don't improve if he doesn't raise the turn. Jack 10. Fuck off, man! Jesus Christ, just literally just bombing in every fucking hand, just getting outdrawn on every river. Fucking hell, man. So many unreasonable fucking hands. And it's so dumb. I don't like to leave the tables when they're soft as well. I really want to carry on playing, but kind of don't have it in me. Let's see how we did on ACR today. I don't think we did that badly. Oh my god, I'm up on ACR. What do you mean? All right, we'll take that. We're down fucking chunks on GG, but check, check the graph. Because we, we were smashing it at 600. Look at this at 600. Fucking hell, I shouldn't have played 1k, man. Slurp, man. Right, let's see all dates for 600. Is it 600 that I'm dusting it? No, 600 I'm killing it. It's 400 I'm dusting it, which is which is more than okay. I think we might be losing now at, um, at 1k overall. I don't want to have a look yet. But fucking hell, I think I, I think I found the sweet spot. It's only 7k hands, but still.